All right, welcome back to the channel. So, Tyson Fury's team, in the person of Frank Warren, blast Anthony Joshua fight rumors and says that he or they have seen nothing like an acceptable contract that they would be willing to sign. So all of this talk about a fight between Anthony Joshua and, and uh, Tyson Fury in the July time frame is just a bunch of whatever. But um, I do think it might serve some purpose, which is promotion for the fight that is actually most likely to take place, which is the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight. And that's the bigger fight anyway. That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna do a little bit of a test format. Don't usually do this format, but I'm gonna to try to do it just cause I wanna have a little fun, switch things up. I am going to tell you what I'm gonna tell you in this video then I'm gonna tell you, then I'm gonna tell you what I told you. It's gonna be three parts so that you make sure that at any point in time, you know what I'm gonna say in this video because there's a lot of people who ain't very bright and miss the point. <laughs> so, first things first, let me tell you what I'm gonna tell you. The Tyson Fury and AJ was announced by Bob Arum and Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren straight out said that crap ain't true. So, the question that I have is, Seeing as Frank Warren says it's not true, why is Bob Arum involved in this conversation at all, number one? And then I think to myself, oh, I think I might see what is happening here. All of this is really just very, very good promotion for the Deontay Wilder fight, which is really the most logical outcome of all of this stuff that's going on. So that's what I'm gonna tell you. So let me tell you, in a little more detail so you understand why I believe these things. So the first point, Tyson Fury versus AJ was announced by Bob Arum and Eddie Hearn. We all know that that's the case because a whole bunch of people in the UK are talking about this fight, having ridiculous arguments on Twitter. Seriously, I have them because I love ridiculous arguments. So I'm, cause that, because that gives me a chance to beat up on ridiculous people. Not in a violent way, but you know, just an intellectual way. They don't know a lot about boxing and I have a good time, fun time teaching them about it in a way that might be considered Socratic. However, that is what they've been talking about and I keep saying to them, come on man, this is absolutely ridiculous, but they claim that they have a site in the Middle East for the fight and that the date is in the July timeframe. Only problem is that obviously for anybody with common sense, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder in arbitration right now, which means that they, neither one, oh, excuse me, Tyson Fury specifically cannot have another fight because they don't know what the ruling of the judge is gonna be. However, I think that they probably already know what the ruling of the judge is gonna be and they're doing what promoters do, find a way to promote the fight. And what better way to grow this fight than to have a lot of controversy around it but let's continue, I'll get to that in a little bit more detail. As to what the, um, Anth, uh, excuse me, Eddie Hearn and Bob Arum says, Frank Warren says that those rumors are not true. It, to the extent that there is an acceptable offer on the table that Team Fury is willing to take, right? So, um, specifically he says, there's no July date. He doesn't understand why these guys are saying the fight's gonna happen in July. Obviously, I know why he would say that because he knows he's in arbitration and this fight could easily go into June or July. And if you start promoting that fight and sign that and sign for that, then you very, may, very well may affect the outcome of the arbitration because you're just flat out showing disrespect and disregard for the judge whose decision it is to make it, right? And if you think that judges do not get prejudiced by foolish, arrogant behavior on the part of people in, in, their, in their purview, you're nuts, but let's keep it pushing. Um, he also said that there are many topics that haven't been discussed, right? Like, like I would suspect, purse, what is the guarantee? What is the percentage split of any pay-per-view? Uh, Tyson Fury is gonna ask for 50-50. I have a hard time believing that Anthony, that 
that Eddie Hearn is going to give Tyson Fury 50-50. I don't believe it. Even if you believe that the July time frame was, uh, time frame was possible, which I don't. Especially since Frank Warren is saying that it's not. He doesn't believe that fight can happen in the summer. Now, I'm also interested because Frank Warren is the guy that, no doubt about it, would know what's going on because he is a promoter for Tyson Fury. But specifically, he is the promoter for Tyson Fury outside of the United States. So when Bob Aram is involved and Bob says, hey, this is what's going on, you got to ask yourself, why is Bob involved? Remember what I said? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. Then I'm going to tell you and I'm going to tell you what I told you. Just so we get very clear about what my message is throughout this thing. Bob Aram is the U.S. promoter. What is he doing negotiating and talking about site deals that are going on in Saudi Arabia or somewhere in the Middle East? That's not the United States, and you are the promoter for them in the United States. So the site, now I can understand if Bob Aram is involved in setting up the pay-per-view, right? Which would be ESPN, or it's not going to be ESPN, but just say it's ESPN, right? And they do it, but more than likely, it's going to be the zone anyway, and Eddie Hearn in the United States. So there's not even really any solid uh, evidence that he's going to be involved in it. And he's definitely not, shouldn't be involved in the site fee because that's nothing to do with the United States. But why is he there? And this is something else. That is going to that makes it me feel like no, dude, this stuff is not going to go the way that they think it's going to go, because number one, the deal over there in the Middle East was originally done by Daniel Kinahan, a guy that is being reviled in the United States by the media that typically supports Bob Arum, and they were and all this press went out on him, and Bob Arum stepped in and said, well, I'll do, I'll be the one that will negotiate the deal. You know, Daniel Kinahan's a great guy, but we understand all this stuff has come up in the press, so I'll handle the deal out there in the Middle East. Why? Why would you handle it? Why wouldn't Frank Warren ha handle it? Because he's the promoter, right? So even Bob Arum announcing a date outside the United States seems like, nah, dude, I don't believe it. And, right, on top of it, Eddie Hearn said in order for any site deal to be reached, everybody says that, the, that Daniel Kinahan cannot be involved in the deal which means tyson fury who's very was very close to him and said that he helped close the deal now has to cut this guy out of the deal so frank warren who represents that is saying ah man there's a whole bunch of stuff we got to get into before we can say there's an acceptable deal an acceptable site deal exact uh specifically why? Because why would they get into all of that political nonsense with Daniel Kinahan and Saudi Arabia and all that stuff to help out Bob Arum? Okay, when they know full well, my next point, that Deontay Wilder fight will probably make more money. And honestly, if they wanted to take Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury to Saudi Arabia, they could take that there too. Just as easy as Anthony Joshua, they wouldn't have to deal with any damages associated with pulling out of the fight with Deontay Wilder. And more than likely, if you have the fight in the United States, because of all the controversy around it, it's going to be a huge fight and you're going to make more money. Which is why I'm thinking maybe all these guys are going through this stuff just to get around to the end and where we know we're going to be. Or where we should think we're most likely to be. Which is a trilogy fight with Deontay Wilder because the interest is huge for the fight. The fight is talked about all the time. So, again, Tyson Fury... Although Tyson Fear, although Bob Aram and Eddie Hearn announced it, Eddie Hearn, uh, uh, Frank Warren said, nah, man, that's not the truth. That's not the truth. And again, why is Bob Aram involved? Because it seems as if he's trying to push out some people out of the site deals. I don't believe he's going to be able to do that. And last, because of the, 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 the like, the, the small likelihood that he, Tyson Fury gets out of this arbitration and is able to fight any uh, and is able to fight anybody. It still doesn't solve the problem that the Deontay Wilder fight is really worth more money, especially when you consider that you may have to pay damages and give him money outside of your purse to have a fight in which you make less money. And everybody involved makes less money, not just Tyson Fury. So that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think. And with that, I'm out. Peace.